Now would be a good time to remind you that if you wanted to start out the workout, instead of doing it in three blocks of five minutes, maybe you could start, I know Rock at his camp starts them on about three minutes for start each one. Start three minutes, that's and right. And then build it up maybe every two or three days until you get five minutes for each one. Again, we want to tell you that what you've just watched is a high intensity workout. But first, we need to remind you again about that medical disclaimer. Before trying any parts of the workout described in this video, please see your doctor and follow his or her advice regarding your physical ability to perform these drills and exercises. Okay, why don't you guys change baskets now. Just a little bit different background to shoot on. Have you hit any yet, Dan? Okay. Really does make it game like when they shoot free throws this tired. In game, very seldom do you go to the free throw line well rested. You need to shoot them when you're tired. Okay, that's, that's it. That's our 15 minute workout. Although it probably takes longer or more than that and probably closer to 30 minutes to actually com complete it. We've already heard from our four kids and if you have any questions at all, we'll, uh, you know how to get a hold of uh, Coach Lamar and myself. Uh, there's no way to describe what kind of effort we've had out of kids over the past 20 to 25 years. And all they do is just keep getting better and better. It always seems like each year, at Mid-America anyway, it seems like each year that we can't be much better than we were the year before. And each group of kids come in and just like Coach said, they just keep getting better, and we feel like this is a major part of it. It's such a building block in whatever we get accomplished. Uh, there are so many people, uh, adults, uh, parents especially, that are always asking, listen, why don't you teach my son or daughter some special move or something that's going to make them a better player instantly? And there are no great secrets. It, it really comes down to the fundamentals, and, and this is something that I've just put together over the years. and. Uh, Every kid, you know, you challenge them to try it, and they come back, and the first thing they tell you is, gee, I, I'm quicker, I'm stronger, I jump better, I eat better, I treat my parents better, I feel better about myself. Like, okay, so what's the problem? And usually one of them will say, well, why didn't you show it to me earlier? <laughs> and, you know, Coach, we showed it to them. We showed it to them every year at camp, and uh, this year I challenged them to do it for 30 days and give me a call back, and I've gotten two callbacks from campers this year. One young man said he improved his jumping four inches, the other guy said just exactly what you talked about. You know, he treats his parents better. You know, he's much more enjoyable to be around. He's shooting the ball better. Anyway, it's just a great workout, and it's been a joy showing it to you today. The other thing that we want to talk about is how much you really improve your jumping. And uh, at the end of this, I think we'll do just a little bit of a clip of Danny when, uh, when he was a senior in high school and, and the dunk contest. And you can see a direct result of, you know, at that time you were Danny. Now you're Dan. Okay. But uh, we'll, we'll put that on here at the end, too. We want to thank our cameraman, Cam, because it, it, it's nice to work in front of a pro. And, and, and you know what? I don't think it would hurt. Hey, Dan, do you feel like it? Could you just, I know you, you told me that the other day you got both hands on the rim. He's just come off ACL surgery. Could you go up here and put both hands on the rim one time for us? All right, let's take a look at this. And Dan's about six feet tall, has about a 40-inch vertical. He with an ACL. Dan? 40 before the surgery, now it's probably 52 by the time you get done, okay? Go ahead, Dan, go up and show them how easily you get up there with both hands. It's not okay. too bad for a six foot guard. Uh, well, now while we're showing off, Jordan, let's see if you can grab the rim right now. Let's this is do, after Jordan. 20 minutes or 30 minutes of a pretty tough workout. Adam? <laughs> <laughs> well, let, just go up. Aubrey? <laughs> Okay. Okay. Thanks again. Good. Thanks again. And thanks to you kids, because you guys really made this happen for us, and you did a great job. It's super. You're looking at a goal setter basket. Absolutely the best outdoor hoop in America right now. They're made in Pella, Iowa. Both Rocky and I have sold them, and more importantly, are sold on them. We each have them at our home. Two ex-coaches invented them, Denny Steenhook and Denny Brand. Here we're watching Britt and Rustin Dowd two brothers, 13 and 11, who have been doing the 15-minute workout for the past four months. What we really want to show 
is that with a smaller ball, like each of them have right now, and a lower hoop, they can still have great form on learning how to shoot a jump shot properly. Rocky's going to show you here in a moment just how easy it is to raise the hoop. We're going to watch these guys just work out on it a little bit. Coach, nice when, form. When we raise the hoop, we'll go ahead and ask them to do a couple of live game shots for them so they can realize even little guys can do this very, very well. Okay, why don't you go ahead and start raising the hoop rock. The way the goal setter system works. That's that Rick Dunk one. Okay, let's see if he can get it there. Everybody wants to be a dunker. You can't let your older brother do that. Okay, that's a finger roll. Just with a crank. We can raise the hoop up. We started it there probably at seven feet. Now we go to eight feet. You guys still shoot. And take a look. Still stay in form. Everything that we talked about earlier in the gym. You guys know how to do the game shots? If you miss the outside shot, you rebound and put it in and then you go out and you attack the guy on the dribble. And you go and shoot a layup. Yeah. And you shoot with your right hand. Maybe Coach Lamar hasn't covered that in his camp. <laughs> Rock, you've got it up to nine feet now? Absolutely great setup and hoop system for at home. You can probably even get lower enough or lower it enough for your dad or your mom to dunk at. Anything you'd like to add there, Coach Lamar? Just both of them are working very, very hard at the end of the 15-minute uh, workout. I saw Rustin shoot one with his left hand. I wanted to break it. Yeah. He knows better than that. Spin the ball out, Rustin. Don't just run in there. Spin it out. We do have it up to 10 feet now. And you can see they struggle a little bit more when it's at 10 feet rather than it's a smaller goal. Again, when you put it at 8 feet, that's what we were talking about earlier, the idea is that you can shoot your shot that you're going to be shooting later on. I mean, the argument is, well, they should get used to shooting at a 10-foot basket. See, I think that's nonsense. That's why they have Little League Baseball. They have the pitcher's mound closer and the smaller uh, stadiums that they're playing in. The same thing's true here. You're going to have success from early on. You're going to be able to shoot the ball the way you're supposed to shoot it. And the two things there that are really helpful is if the ball is a little bit smaller and the basket is a little bit lower. Thanks, fellas. That's it, Cam. Thanks again for our cameraman. Thanks, Cam. You did great. <laughs> One final word here. We want to really thank you for purchasing our videotape. That goes without saying. We hope also that you learn something for after watching the tape. All we're hoping is that somewhere along the line you'll pick up something that's going to help improve your game along the way. But let's not forget that uh, you know there's a lot of other things that are available out there. We have some things that are also available for sale as you can see at the bottom of the, of the picture here. 
But right now, the most important thing in my mind is I want to really thank you, Rock, for allowing us to make this tape. I mean, this has been kind of in the hopper for 10 or 12 years, and we've been thinking about doing this on and off. And with our schedules, we could never get together. But once I retired, it made it pretty possible. You look around, and you suddenly understand that uh, uh, things have gone a long way from the little town of Maquoketa, to Iowa. But I am so proud of what you've done and to allow us to use your facilities. But both a thank you to Coach Lamar. He's, he's had just a wonderful, wonderful record here over 16 years and to Mid-American Nazarene University and to allow us to use their facilities. It, this just couldn't be done without you. Well, Coach, we appreciate that. And, of course, you know how I feel. I'm so excited to get to do something like this with you. And once again, we've been trying to do it for 10 years. And I'm so thankful that Mid-American Nazarene allowed us to use the beautiful Cook Center here. And hopefully we can use it as a recruiting tool even as we go along. But more importantly, with all of this, we still have to make sure that everyone who watches these tapes understand really where our priorities are in life. And that is that, that we want to keep Jesus Christ first in everything that we do, and we want him to bless this video. And we also want to make sure that we don't overlook our families. We want to take care of our families. And, and then hopefully each one of the kids who watch this know that keeping their schoolwork you know, at a high priority is very important in life. And, and finally, then maybe learn about this game of basketball. And we hope they all just play it as hard as, as we try to teach them to play it on here. But once again, keeping God first, then their family, then their schoolwork, and then basketball. And just the opportunity to get to get that message across to these kids is something that I can't thank you enough for because I don't think I'd have done it without you. And thank you and thank Mid-American Nazarene University. That's said pretty well. Thanks again. <laughs> You're welcome.